just eat people food? It's a dinosaur. He eats what it wants. How did it get all the way up here? Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we have another short little review today, and today we are reviewing the Dino Rival Dual Attack Nephidoceratops, based on the animal scene in Battle at Big Rock. So, this is a very interesting looking animal. I've had this for over a year now, and we're going to get right into this. So the front of the figure has the standard Dino Rivals packaging that we've come to expect, except that in this instance it turned blue to differentiate it from the standard red coloration. And that's mainly because this is a Battle in Big Rock exclusive. On the back, we have the Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus and the Concavenator, the card, which we will get to later, and some graphics explaining how the figure works. Now to get the figure out, there are two straps, one here and here, holding the figure in place. Okay, so the figure has a very interesting color pattern. Um, the base color seems to be this dark navy blue in the lower portion of the legs and some faint spots on the thighs are like this bluey green. And it's, that's very nice, it's nice and gradual um, on the back and on the portion of the frill here. Uh, it's this deep maroon red coloration and with brighter red almost like scarlet or orange red on the face around the eyes. On the horns it's a light cream color as well as on the front of the nose here. The eyes are painted black and on the bottom it's a light gray coloration. Now the figure itself has, since it's dual attack, means that it has two different types of uh, attack it can do. It can swing its tail and it can butt its head forward. And here is the card for the Nasuda Teratops. It has a interesting artwork, I must say. I'm not the biggest fan of this artist artistic rendition of the Nasutoceratops from Jurassic World Battle at Big Rock. I'm really not a fan of it. And, and that's a shame, because I normally do really like the other cards that Mattel has included with their Dino Rivals line. This, this card seems to have been more rushed out more than anything. I know Battle at Big Rock had a slightly troubled production but this artwork is just not the best. It, it's, a de it's decent, but it's really not my cup of tea. The, the frill is just way too big for the actual animal. The horns are too close together there. It, it just, it doesn't look like, it doesn't have the image of the animal. Now that's an Nasutoceratops. Now this Nasutoceratops is probably one of my favorite dinosaurs so far that I've seen that Mattel has released. I really, 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 really love it. It's just such an interesting design. It's great colors. I love Battle at Big Rock. And to have the Nasutoceratops right here 
and looking pretty much like it does in the film. This is based on the male, the male variant of the Nizudo. Uh, it's just awesome. I love it so much. If you can, I highly recommend it. If you can find it, get it. It's just so good. And it's such a unique looking Ceratopsian as far as the Jurassic Park franchise goes. And I'm really glad it's in the franchise now. And I'm really glad we get a good new Ceratopsian. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy what I do here, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.